Former President Trump is back in New Jersey tonight, just hours after being arraigned on charges he tried to overturn the 2020 election. Trump is now facing 78 criminal charges total in three cases, while still the front runner for the Republican nomination for president. Danny Spiewak looks at where things go from here. Former President Trump pleaded not guilty Thursday to four felony counts, alleging he tried to block the peaceful transfer of power. Look at what's happening. This is a persecution of a political opponent. His allies called it an attack on Trump's First Amendment right to question the 2020 election results. And you know, in America, you are entitled to raise a question. You're entitled to question whether it was honest or not. Prosecutors acknowledged in the indictment that Trump can legally make claims about the election, seek recounts, or file lawsuits. But they say he broke federal law by pressuring state legislators to change electoral votes, by organizing fraudulent slates of electors and sham election crime investigations, and by trying to convince Vice President Mike Pence not to certify the election on January 6th. The special counsel has been very detailed in laying out the claims. Tom Heffelfinger is a former U.S. attorney for Minnesota, appointed in two stents by Presidents George H.W. and George W. Bush. But in reality, what he is doing is using his position to deprive Americans of the lawful election. Despite now facing three sets of criminal charges, Trump remains the GOP frontrunner heading into primary season. How do you think these legal cases are going to play with the Republican electorate? Well, it's very important to understand who will be voting in the Republican primaries. Those voters tend to be very conservative. So far, the polls are showing Donald Trump doing very well with those voters. But as Larry Jacobs with the University of Minnesota's Humphrey School points out, we're still five months away from the Iowa caucuses. There is a tremendous amount of time ahead of us, opportunities for candidates to surge. Trump could also face a fourth indictment in the state of Georgia at some point this summer. In that case, the Fulton County District Attorney is investigating Trump's alleged attempts to sway Georgia's Secretary of State to, quote, find votes for him in the 2020 election. Back to you.